The UK-wide lockdown to deal with the coronavirus pandemic is expected to be extended for a further three weeks from today. Tributes are paid to the 28-year-old pregnant nurse who died from COVID-19. Her baby was delivered and is doing well. As the country prepares to clap for carers once again tonight, we're going to bring you the extraordinary end to Captain Tom Moore's inspirational charity walk, 100 laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. When BBC Breakfast first highlighted Tom's fundraising for the NHS on Good Friday, it stood at a few thousand pounds. Now it's over 11 million. Good morning. The baby steps in rebuilding business. pret -a manger and Burger King join KFC in opening some stores for delivery only. Can it be done safely? I'll ask the boss of KFC. Good morning. Threats of legal action after the Scottish football season below the top tier ends with immediate effect. Dundee United win the championship thanks to a controversial vote from neighbours Dundee, but relegated Partick Thistle have brought in the lawyers. Lovely story to bring you. 106-year-old Connie Titchen has survived the Spanish flu, two world wars, and now she has triumphed over COVID-19. The great-grandmother is believed to be the oldest patient to recover from the virus in Britain and was discharged from hospital earlier this week. Our reporter Phil Mackey has more. When the news is often so bad, then every bit of good news deserves a cheer and a round of applause. Connie Titchen was just five years old when the Spanish flu killed millions. Now she's 106 and she's beaten COVID-19. And let's not forget, she lived through two world wars too. She was taken into hospital last month with suspected pneumonia and after three weeks in the city hospital, Connie was given the all clear and a guard of honour. Phil Mackey, BBC News, Birmingham. It's a great image that, isn't it? Brilliant. Fantastic Absolutely image. brilliant. I'm going to show you the front pages today of all the papers. Uh, the Telegraph, or some of the papers, the Telegraph says the government is expected to extend restrictions for another three weeks today, despite the UK reportedly reaching the peak of the virus. So that is down to interpretation. It also features a picture of a pregnant NHS nurse, 28 years old, who died over the weekend. Let's have a look at the Metro, saying the 28-year-old Mary Ajapong died on Sunday but her miracle daughter was delivered safely by emergency caesarean section. The Guardian's lead story says there's been a surge in the number of people who are dying at home because they feel reluctant to call an ambulance. It also features the story of a 106-year-old, we showed you her, uh, thought to be the oldest patient to survive coronavirus. And just having a look uh, online, well, there you go, Captain Tom Moore leading the independence coverage. Uh, the war, war veterans you were just hearing a moment ago that total, over £11 million for the NHS through his sponsored walk. And as you know, 8.30 this morning, the walk will be complete and you and we will be there. It's not the only one. Look, it's on the front page of the Express as well. Britain salutes our, and it's wrong, £10 million NHS hero. I'm not going to blame the Express, though, because that number is just going up and up and up. It's now, what did we see it at? 11.8 million. It's heading towards the 12 mark this morning, It's going to hit 12. Surely it's going to hit 12 this morning. I'm not, I'm not you know, I have no influence over it, but people, I can just see on social media all the time, people are just so impressed and touched by him. And his message is so clear, isn't it? Remember when we asked him to um, give some words of inspiration, just to anyone who's having a bit of a tough time during lock lockdown, and he just said, tomorrow will be a good day. Today, there would have been something that happened, but tomorrow will be a good day. Think of it positively. It would make some local authorities have been accused of being too heavy-handed as they restrict the number of mourners allowed to attend funerals during the lockdown. The National Association of Funeral Directors says that some councils have excluded grieving families completely. The local government association, which represents councils in England, said they are trying to allow immediate family to say goodbye to their loved ones while keeping staff and mourners safe. Well, you know, just like Captain Tom, so many people have been looking for ways to help the NHS and show the love to the NHS and those carers and those key workers during this crisis. Lots of you have been in touch. Let us know what you're doing to support key workers. Here's a look at some of your stories. My name is Kai Holloway. I am six years old. I am from Leicester. I'm cycling 72 miles with my dad. During the lockdown and being safe. I am raising money because I want to help 
the doctors and nurses who are doing a really job against coronavirus. I started a fundraising campaign called Run for Heroes. The idea is you run 5k, donate five pounds, and then nominate five other people in your social channel to do the same. I thought of the idea when I was out on a run myself and noticed how many people were out doing the same. And I thought, isn't there something in this? If we're all out on our daily form of exercise a day, why don't we put it towards the NHS? So far, we've raised two million pounds, and with your help, we can raise so much more. So today, I nominate you to go out and do a 5K and donate five pounds for the NHS. Hi, I'm Ian Alcon from the Great British Camp Out. I had an idea to relieve the boredom of lockdown and get my kids camping in the garden to raise much needed cash for our NHS frontline staff. The idea is simple, camp in your own garden or drive, in your tent or camper van, even your lounge, and donate your pitch fees to the fundraiser. My initial target was £100. To date, we're at an astonishing £145,000. Hey everyone, I'm David from Origin Gym in Liverpool. And I'm Beth's daughter. And on Saturday, I'm going to be doing 10,000 beer beans within 24 hours to try and raise £10,000 for the NHS. It's important to me personally because we saved this little one's life when she was younger. It's true. And as a gym and as a community, we just want to show our appreciation and do what we can to help support them. We love you, NHS! <laughs> so, to be clear, everyone, the NHS charities together has banded all those um, charities that work for the NHS all together, which is what Captain Tom Moore is raising as well, raising money for as well. But great to see all those initiatives, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of people are saying... Uh, they, they, so there's, there's twofold gain, isn't it? On the one hand, there's simply the money, which is yeah. staggering, which is being raised. And everyone is saying the same thing, because it makes you feel better in yourself to, to do something at a time when people maybe feel a little powerless to do anything actually doing something that you think is helpful makes you feel better and if you're wondering what it's going to be used for as well it will be used for um people in the nhs for for things after the crisis as well so help with mental health health help with accommodation help with just helping uh, workers be a little bit more comfortable I and mean, we